the whole Andre Jarrell thing. Tell us what you saw. Well, you know, I, I saw Anthony and, and Willie, you know, family members, they're arguing with some guy from the audience, and that was step number one. And, then, you know, what happened from there, just you started little firefights here, little firefights there, and, and then it gets into the ring. And, you know, I, like I say, I'm a veteran, man. You know, I, I, you've been in a lot of battles, and those ain't the kind of battles that pay money, right? So I just kind of stayed on the outside and watched these guys work. And, you know, my concern was Andre, and, and I asked the commissioner if I could go in with the doctors. And, you know, it's important for somebody like that that gets knocked out to recognize somebody that's part of their team. That's what I do, right? So my job was there to keep him focused and, uh, and took him away from all that melee. And it was just him and I, man. Just so he's I, good. Yeah, good. he's good. You know, he's good. I'm sure once he looks at the tape, he's not going to be happy with the end results, you know, with, with what happened, you know. And then the end results are getting knocked out. So, uh, but a good kid. So let me ask you this. You were in the corner with Vladimir Klitschko yeah. against Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Big time heavyweight fight. Legendary heavyweight fight. Yeah. Your thoughts on that particular fight? Ultimately, Klitschko would lose, but... It was a classic fight. How did you feel to be a part of something like that? Everybody you know, it is funny. My son said it best because I've been in the Rocky Balboa movie when Rocky had his last fight and as he's walking out of the arena, the people are cheering him on even though he lost, right? Then I did the Creed movie with uh, Michael B. Jordan when Adonis is fighting in Liverpool. Same scenario, great fight. He loses and the fans cheer him on. Well, Vladimir, that was his biggest victory, you know, and uh, I know with all the fights that he's had, He's never had any kind of respect that that. You really had to be there in the center to see how these people were clapping for him and cheering him and on. It was an unbelievable moment. Uh, the fight itself was was great. And, uh, you know, I was glad to be there, man. 90,000 people, crazy British people. You know, that's, you know, that's, 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 I've been to Japan where there's like 70,000 Japanese, but that's like 10,000 Brits, you know, when it comes to making noise. And the Brits are, they're the best at what they do, man. Do we see Klitschko again? I don't know. You know, I we spoke. He called me, and I told him, you know, whatever you want to do, uh, I'm going to be with you 150. Uh, percent So, you know, do I want to see him come back? Yeah, there's a yes and there's a no. And, and I think like everybody in the, you know, in in the boxing, are probably saying the same thing. He was such a great fighter, it was an epic fight. Does he do it again? You know, or you know, what if he loses and this and that? But uh, I think his legacy is pretty much sealed in gold right now. So. If he does come back, how much does Vladimir Klitschko have left in your opinion? Well, you know, I basically told him that he had to go in there and, and go into round 12, you know, and, and take it from there, you know. And uh, so uh, it's up to Vladimir. I think, you know, the discipline that he has and, you know, uh, his desire to win all the time and such a disappointment that he lost that fight uh, that I think he's going to come back with a whole lot of energy left.